So I did this analysis in sports. Okay, Roger Federer that time was the number one tennis player. What was Roger Federer's annual income that time? I'm assuming 25 billion, 15 to 25 million. 50 million dollars. Okay. Give or take. The number 10 player in the world at that time was a guy called Yuan Del Potro. So what was his income at that time? 3 million, 2 million. It was 15 million. Now take out tennis. Go to the next five racket sports. Table tennis, badminton, squash, lacrosse. Take the number one player in those games. What is their average of their uh, incomes? A million? $900,000. Huh. Does a number one badminton guy work in less hard than Federer does? He's doing the same thing. Now what explains the gap 3.2 times? That's the gap between Del Potro and Federer. Federer correct. Okay. The real gap is the 15 times delta that's there between the number Table one tennis and the tennis and uh, Duan Del Potro. So if you get your where to play right, and that's where great CEOs know where to play very well. How to play is tactics. Great leaders 